All right, I think it is metronome time, as it always is somewhere in the world. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Hey fiddlers, welcome to today's fiddle lesson video. This video has been a long time coming. I have been wanting to play Angela and the Baker with you guys for a very, very long time. So let's get right to it. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for this tune, as well as the variation we're gonna learn, you can find those at one of the links in the description. So first off, we are going to figure out what key we're in so that we know where our left hand fingers are gonna be. We are in the key of D major, one of our favorites around here. So let's play a D major scale starting with your open D. It's gonna go D, one, two, three, A, one, two, three. Easy peasy. Then we're also gonna have some notes on the E string. So we've got E, one, low two, but we're not actually gonna play that in this tune and three. So we've got. Okay, now that we've got our key signature, let's figure out our time signature. We're gonna be in four, four time for this tune. So the general feeling of it is gonna be one, two, three, four. Okay, we've got our key signature, we've got our time signature. Let's learn the tune. As I often do, I'm going to be teaching this tune by call and response, so I'll play a little piece of the tune. You can try playing it after I do, so just pause the video and give it a whirl. And I'll play it a few times so you have a few chances at it. The second time I play it, I'll give you the fingering so you can follow along with those. As with many tunes, this tune has an A part, which is the first half of the tune, a B part, which is the second half of the tune. So let's start with the A part. The first phrase of the A part starts on your open A string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's A, one, three, A, one, three. One more time. The second phrase of the A part also starts on your open A and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's A, one, three, A, one, one. The third phrase of the A part also starts on your open A, so you might be seeing a theme here. It'll go like this, one, two, three, four. That's A, one, three, And the last 
phrase, the A part, is gonna start on your open E, changing things up a little bit, and that's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's E1, E3, 1, and N. And believe it or not, you have made it through half of the tune. So we are just going to play that whole entire A part. Starting on that open A. 1, 2, 3, 4. One more half to learn. Okay, so the B part is going to start with your third finger on the E string, and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's three, one, E, three, E, one, E, three. part also starts with your third finger on the E string and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's three, one, E, three, one, one. The next phrase starts with that third finger on the E string yet again and it'll go like this. One, two, three, four. So that's three, one, E, three, E, one, E, three, which is exactly the same as the first phrase of the B part. And the last phrase of the B part is the same as the last phrase of the A part. And that, again, is going to start with your open E and go like this, one, two, three, four. That's E1, E3, 1, A, A. That is the B part. Let's see if we can string all those phrases together and make it into one whole entire half of the tune. One, two, three, four. tune, at least in theory. So let's see if we can play the whole thing all the way through. We're going to play A, A, B, B. So we play the A twice and the B twice. I'm setting my metronome to 80. One, two, oh, one, two, three, four. playing that up to speed with guitar backup, you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, so that's Angela and the Baker. Now let's learn a couple of cool things to add to the tune. We're going to be adding a little melodic variation to this tune, some double stops, and then we're also going to try playing it down an octave in the B part. So let's start out with the melodic variation. Here's how that's going to sound. At the very beginning of the A part, it's going to go like this. One, two, three, four. That's pretty cool. So what we're doing is instead of just playing, we're playing 
So essentially what we're doing is we're playing the notes on the A string that we would normally play, alternating with an open D below. So it's A, one, three. But you've got that D in between those notes. The next part is where we're gonna put the double stops and this is what that's gonna sound like. So what we're doing right there is we're just playing the melody but with an open D below. So the bow is going to be making a plane across those two strings and you're just playing them both at the same time. If you want, you could throw in a triple stop, which makes it maybe even fancier than we really should be as fiddle players, but oh well. So that would go. So you're playing the double stop. Then you play open G, open D, and your first finger on the A. And your bow just kind of slides across all three of those strings. And that's it for the A part. Then we just play the normal tune. Which you could do that with double stop. So here's that A part with the variations. One, two, one, two, three, four. Part, we're going to play it down an octave and this is what that's going to sound like. I'm throwing in some double stops there because I just have a hard time resisting doing that. So what you're doing is you're playing the entire B part eight notes lower than you normally would play it. So instead of playing it starting with the A on the E string, you're starting with the open A. So it's gonna sound like this. A, two, one, D, one, two, one, D. A, two, one, D, two, two. A, two, one, D, one, two, one, D. Two, one, D, two, one, one. Anywhere in there you could drone on the um, A open A string or the open D string with the melody. So let's try that B part variation. One, two, one, two, three, four. metronome time as it always is somewhere in the world. So let's turn on our metronomes to 80. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. you can go back to the beginning of the video and play it along with me. All right, you guys, that wraps up this month's fiddle lesson video. I hope you had fun with Angela and the Baker. If you'd like sheet music and practice tracks for the tune, the variation, as well as a harmony, a chord chart, you can get all of those at one of the links in the description. Happy fiddling, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.